Hello YouTube, welcome to another video. In this one, I'll be teaching you how to use the S check printing software to edit the check design and also how to print. Okay. If you are new to the channel, kindly hit the subscribe button. Now let's dive into the video. In order for us to proceed, you will need the license key so you can actually um verify your software and proceed. Okay, so you need to input the license key. You can just hit me up for the license key and also the download link all right so once you've put the license key you can now proceed to use the software so first thing you want to go to the settings go to check setup okay and when you click on check setup this will enable you to put all the required information that will be visible on the check okay for instance the bank name the bank address the transit code or fractional number the routing number the bank account number and also on the right side you put the company information that's linked to the bank account in addition to that you also have a link to add a jpeg image of your signature and also a logo image part to choose the logo image for the bank okay so you can see the first link and you can see the second link on the right side so um for instance i'm just going to put in a random bank account number take note the number i'm just putting is random and then i'm just going to set the current check number to a random number this will just depend on how you want to basically make your check i'm just giving you an instance and on the right side you can see um the letters that represent each micr logo and symbol and then you can see the link for you to se select your signature image file it has to be um basically a signature image with a transparent background it's going to have a white background i believe that also work but i recommend use one with transparent background you can edit that in photoshop okay so um currently i don't have any i'll make a separate video for that you can actually use some ai tools to just get yourself quick signature with a transparent background and just import the jpeg file right into that particular folder that source and then there's the logo image part for the bank logo you need to choose the bank logo that matches the check you want to issue out okay so once you've um, chosen your signature you proceed to select the, the bank um, logo that's exactly what i'm doing right now so i just um choose one i just downloaded off the internet this one just use that you can see there and once i import it there i just have it saved and then make sure you cross check load information and it says exactly what you want on your check because you need to put correct information take note the numbers i'm putting here are just random numbers as i'm giving you an instance okay so you need to put in the correct account number routing number and ensure it actually belongs to you okay and then you put in the company information link to the account and then you import your signature um image and your bank logo image okay and then once you're done you can just basically click the the updates button excuse me click the update button and then it basically just updates the check setup for you right away okay so that's basically how the check setup tab works and um if you have any question regarding the check setup tab you can just leave the question in the comment section okay you can just leave the question in the comment section okay so as you can see the company information right there i'm just gonna add um holy cross um I just want you to see that actually the information I put here is actually what reflects on the check. Okay, so I'm just going to call this Holy Cross Bridge and then um, just add the little information to the address. A little quick have and then um, I go to the bank name and, uh, and, and I just add an address below. Um, just I'm giving you an instance. Um, I'll just add the bank address below. 
so it could just be any random address i just want you to see exactly what the check setup does because this is the s check tutorial so p box um 776 and then i'm just putting a random address like i said earlier <clears throat> west valley um west valley west virginia west virginia so take note um you can actually leave that blank or you can actually fill it if you have the required information i'm just giving you an instance so you understand perfectly how the check setup works for this check okay so for instance, I'm just going to put West Virginia and put um, a zip code and then I'm going to click update and you can see, see is that the base updated and then click OK. Now you can see the information has been updated on the check, but you can see um, the address is, um, is a little bit, it encroaches a little bit closer to the date. So I'm just going to go back to check setup and just um, remove the last line. Like I told you, it's not necessary to put all that. So you just put the address that matches. You can actually reduce the text size, but I'm getting to that soon. So you can see now right now, I just basically put my check set up so you can see the account number, the routing number, and the check number at the bottom. And you can see all of the other information on the check. Now quickly, when you go to accounts, you can actually select the account which you just created. And the one I just created is called Holy Course. So just go to account, you can actually create a new account. So I'm just trying to give you an instance. This is the account you would use in case you wanna like issue a new check from a new account so you get it you just add you can add a couple accounts for instance you can you can have a couple accounts in your name you know what i'm saying so you can actually add a couple accounts registered in your name it could be a company account it could be any kind of account so basically this will give you the option to add the new account and the new account basically come as a check setup as well so okay once you click to add a new account it's going to bring up the check setup tab once again and basically just need to put in putting all of the necessary information i explained earlier you know your bank name the information and all of the necessary information so you can see i just created a new account and you can see it's basically all blank and it's reset to the original um default image from s so i'm just going to go back to account i created the holy cross bridge and you can see all the information on the check is updated once again and if i go back and i select company check which is the default check from s you can see it matches the one i created earlier i'm just going to select bond linked head you can see it's back to the account i just created because i created in the account so i'm just going to select the holy cross account to make sure it's much okay so this is one that's very obvious you can see if that pull of the next information so i'm just showing you that you can actually create new accounts create as many accounts as you want using the account feature at the top okay all right the bottom you just want to click new and then this will open the tab for you to put in the necessary payee information. That is the best you want to issue the check to, okay? So I'm just going to add a new payee, for instance, Oliver Queen. Take note, every information I put here is just random information. Oliver Queen, pay to order, put the pay to the order of Oliver Queen. And then the payee name, Oliver Queen. And then I'm going to impute the payee's address. Now, if you have the information, the payee address, be sure to put in the correct information that matches the correct pay address which is the person you're issuing the check to okay so you put in the correct pay address you put in the pay name pay to the order of put the necessary information um i'm just going to put in valley ali this is a random information i'm just giving you an instance now this new will just allow you creates a new pay basically and you put all of the necessary information um attached to your new pay okay so the pay address and then you can put a memo the memo can say approved or payment for a job or payment for service whichever the case may be and then you can actually put a couple notes to you know give more information regarding the check and this note will appear in the second and third page of your check you know when you print the check it has two additional stops but i'll get to that later so once you've added a new page you can see it automatically updates on the check software you can see the name and you can see the page address okay now with that you can easily choose 
whichever one of the names you want to issue a check to so for instance if you run a company and you have a couple of um you know employees you just add as many pays as necessary and then when you want to issue a check to either one of them you just select that particular one and then you proceed okay so i just clicked the current pay and then i'm going to set the amount here to the 3485 okay i just save and then you can see the amount is immediately updated on the check okay so this s check software allows you to do all of this easily and quickly you do not have to edit it manually using um, a check software using um, a graphic software like photoshop or s check software you can actually just do all of the editing and designing printing and it makes everything much faster okay so you can easily select any of the pages and do whatever it is you want to do with them and it just reflects on the check all right now once you're done with that you can actually print your check you can print a blank check you can select any of the checks and just print and show your computer is connected to the appropriate printer and that you're using the appropriate check paper and you can actually order the check papers from the application right you can see the other checks okay just so you know so anyway let's proceed from there and that basically um covers the um how you basically put all of the necessary information on your check now um in case you want to edit the layout of your check you just go to settings and layout setup now the layout setup allows you to basically edit the the the, the layout of the information on the check all of the individual information on the check okay so for instance you just go to, go to the item picker at the bottom and you select the particular information it is you want to edit so for instance um, for instance i'm going to choose uh, to edit the bank information and once i choose that that one will be read automatically so you can see it and you can actually use your cursor to adjust it so i'll make it visible you can see that and then i can change the font name like I explained earlier, the layout setup allows you to change the layout settings for the information on the check. Okay, so you see you can change the font size. I just made it larger. So I told you I was going to get to this. You can make it a whole lot, a lot smaller. You can set it to 8, 10, whichever the case that fits your design. Okay, so I'm just going to set it to 10 and set it to bold. Okay, and then on the right side, once you good with all of your settings you can actually still go back to the top and choose to edit let's say for for instance company name and it gets goes red so you can actually see it i'm just gonna make the text bold and now the company name is bold and then uh, i'm just gonna edit uh, the logo and you can see i'm just gonna drag the logo i reposition it centering it so you can see the check layout setup gives you more much more much more advancements and gives you much more um dynamics so basically i did the check okay so um you can actually choose any individual information as you can see there's literally all of the information that is on the check is there and you can choose the other of i'm just showing you that you can actually look through all of the information whichever it is you want to change the layout setup you can just actually choose that particular um individual information and just adjust the positioning okay for instance this is the pays address you can see i'm just trying to reposition it in such a way that i feel that's a good position and then i can set the font to bold as you can see and i just set it back to regular okay so with this layout setup like i explained you just basically have access to editing all of the individual information on the check okay so you can see the bank information i'm just going to set that back to i'm just going to choose the bank information so i'm and i'm just going to set that <coughs> go to the company name and just set that to regular sorry um excuse me i'm just going to set the company to regular and just, i'm just going to save my settings make sure you save the settings and you see that has been saved and you can actually close the tab and once you close it all of the information Will be updated you can see it's good as you see all of the information will be updated as you can see you can see the bank information is now in bold text okay so that's how you just basically use the check layout 
setup settings all right guys i think that basically summarizes everything and then you can actually go to the settings check stop setup like i explained earlier if you're going to print your check on the paper with three pages you have two additional stops and then um, this check stop setup will enable you to edit the settings and the two additional stops on your check okay you can actually edit the, the font's name the font size the font style and you can actually use the item picker to choose the particular item you want to edit in your check stop but i do recommend you leave the settings the way it is but if you choose to change the settings fine okay so that basically summarizes it you can actually use the order checks order for check check files check paper check papers and then you can actually export this as a csv file once you're done and send to um you know basically um another user another administrator and they can import into their air software and edit and you can actually use the help option to basically learn about s and um, troubleshoot and then that basically summarizes uh, everything guys so thanks for watching the video guys kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so you don't miss my next video guys bye for now